Hey guys, TechEKC here again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS 6 back to iOS 5.1.1. Now, I know this may come as a surprise because uh, I was pretty excited about iOS 6, uh, but considering all the flaws and all uh, the... how slow it's really made my device, how laggy it is, how much apps are crashing, and how much it's actually taking away from just basic functionality of my phone, um, it really, really isn't worth it to me. Um, because even though I really like iOS 6 and the features that it brings, a lot of them are pretty much unusable right now since this is just a beta version. Uh, now, I will probably, I will definitely be updating to iOS 6 when it comes out to the GM public release. Um, but for now, this is how to downgrade uh, uh, iOS 6 to iOS 5.1.1. Uh, now, uh, luckily for all of us, Apple is still signing the 5.1.1 SHSA, so you don't really need any extra files, except for the 5.1.1 IPSW file, the link to which is in the description below, uh, and that's pretty much it. So what you guys are going to have to do is plug in your device to iTunes using your 30 pin connector, I already, I've already done that. Um, and the next thing you guys are going to have to do is put your device into DFU mode. Now, how you do that is by holding your home and power button for 10 seconds till your screen goes black, uh, and then releasing the power button and continuing to hold the home button. So let me do that. Um, there are two ways you guys could do this. Either you guys could follow along with me, or let me do it first, uh, and then you guys can do it, or then just repeat the video or something like that. Uh, so let's begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... Four, three, two, one. Let go of the power button. Continue to hold the home button for a couple of seconds till iTunes actually pops up. Okay, guys. Since I haven't gone into DFU mode on my iPhone uh, for a while uh, on my computer, um, it has popped up with a message. Uh, but that's just installing the driver software. Um, but on your computer, it should say iTunes has detected your iPhone or iPod Touch or even iPad uh, in recovery mode, even though your screen is black. Um, so I'm just going to wait till my driver is installed and get right back to you guys. Okay, guys, so this is the message that you guys should probably see when uh, you finish putting your device in a DFU mode. It's going to say that iTunes has detected an iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad in recovery mode. Uh, you must restore this iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad before it can be used with iTunes. Uh, now it's very easy from here, all you have to do is hit OK, uh, hold the shift button if you're on uh, a PC, uh, and hold the option key if you're on a Mac, uh, and uh, press restore. Uh, now that's going to bring up this box um, where you guys can browse through your iOS 5.1.1 uh, IPSW, again the link to which is in the description below, you guys can download it for your device. Uh, now here is mine, iPhone 2, 1 underscore 5.1.1, uh, etc. So all you have to do after that is hit open and then it's going to say iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 5.1.1 and we'll verify the restore with Apple. Now this should pretty much uh, go with absolute no errors, uh, absolutely no errors, because Apple is still uh, signing for iOS 5.1.1 since the version of iOS 6 we are currently on is just a developer beta. Anyway, so let's just hit restore and I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay guys, so here you go, basically we're done. Uh, as soon as that entire process completes, you guys should probably see this screen on your computer as well where it's setting up your device. Uh, this is where you guys can restore from a backup that uh, you probably would have made before if you guys have synced your phone before. Um, but that's pretty much about it for this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to uh, quickly just restore my phone. Um, so yeah. Anyway guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and if it helped you out, please do remember to leave it a like rating. Also, to stay updated with all my latest content, do remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.